Discover Seattle Sips, where we're going to make some delicious drinks. Yes, today we're joined with author and mixologist Nick Mottone. Hi. Hi, good morning. Thanks for you? being here. We always know we're going to be drinking something good. When oh, you yes. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and, you know, we're heading into the holiday season. We are ready for it. That means a little bit of a holiday party time, yeah. right? So you wrote a book on creative drink recipes for every festive mm -hmm. occasion. Yeah. What are some of your drinks in it? Okay, favorite so drinks in it. Favorite drinks. So yeah. I've got, mm. I mean, I've got a wide variety in there. Sure. I mean, today we're going to be doing a pumpkin cider, which I think is one of my favorites. I do some fig mulled wine, which is a, a holiday classic oh, for me. Yeah. Really great. We do spiked hot chocolates, uh, blood orange sparkling wine. So, you know, there's a whole whole slew of different cocktails in mm -hmm. there like for every taste and, and flavor that you want, including nogs and grogs and things like that. So. Oh, my oh, God. What's a grog? <laughs> so a grog is sort of... <laughs> Like eggnog without the cream. Think of it that oh, way. It's all the hot, oh. it's all the spirits and maybe some butter and lots of spices oh. and it's very strong. But it's really just hot water, spirit, and spices. Wealth of information. Okay, and we are going to be making some pumpkin cider today. I feel like this would make a, a home smell amazing. Oh, it does smell amazing. Like you walk in when this is cooking, and, and like all you <laughs> smell. Like actually, just just let this simmer in the house at any point in time, and everyone's going to feel happy and healthy. And okay. you know, it's just it's it's holiday season all in. You know, oh my so. God. Let's Let's get into it. Okay. What's the first thing we so do? So we're going to start. We're going to put some uh, butter in a saucepan. Mm -hmm. We're going to put uh, a tablespoon of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit of water. All right, that'll just keep it from fizzing and burning. And I got sure. a whole slew mm -hmm. of spices. My one of my favorites is star anise. Look at that. So it's got it's a very pretty. anise cinnamony <laughs> is flavor. Is that the licorice one? It's or licorice. Cinnamon? Yeah. It's it's oh, a yeah, combo, yeah, it right? Mm -hmm. Now I've got a small handful of cloves. We'll pinch them in there. Uh, a couple of cinnamon sticks. So I like to say, put a cinnamon stick for every person who's going to have a mug full. Right. This way, they get they're going to get spiced up and, and flavored, and then you can add them in at the end. Okay. And then we got some diced. Uh, this is a mixture of pumpkin, butternut squash. Uh, you know, okay, whatever so you, you can mix it up a little. Whatever, whatever you've got on hand, right? And so you're going to let that simmer in a pan. You'll stir it around. The butter will melt. The mm -hmm. sugar will melt. It'll start to spatter up a little bit. And what you wind up with is this. Okay, so you've got your pumpkin, your star anise, they've all caramelized a little bit. They, they've released all their scent. Mm -hmm. I took the liberty of making a, a little I bit noticed of a, that. a clementine oh, peel studded with cloves <laughs> because once you add the cider in and let it simmer, you'll get this really nice, it'll give a little orange hint to it and mm. everything starts to cook. And you're just going to let this simmer. It's going to take about, you know, a good solid 10 minutes or so. So it never goes into a boil. I started on, personally, okay. I started on high heat, okay. just to the point where I think it's going to boil, then I bring it down. Because you don't really need to boil. You just okay. want it warmed, mm -hmm. warmed yeah. up enough. And then you can let it go as long as you want. I mean, I've, I've gotten it hot, put it into a, you know, a slow cooker or a crock pot, mm -hmm. and just let it sit on the counter covered, and people can help themselves. Nice. And, so, and then the house all day long will just smell fantastic. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really kind of, kind of a real wonderful smell. I'm surprised by how the size of the star anise, it really grew, just yeah, being cooked it, up it, all it that. Plumps yeah. up. Yeah. It starts to plump up because it's really dry, and then it gets a little bit more fresh. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. so right now it's like non-alcoholic, It's right? totally non-alcoholic up to this point, so you can serve it just as is, mm -hmm. and everyone's happy. The kids are happy, the parents are happy, those yeah. the designated drivers are, are even more happy. Happy, right? It's really delicious. And then for those of us who might not be driving, um, pop the bottle. <laughs> pop the bottle. Now I I do a little blend. So I'm going to do a little oh. dark rum and a little applejack. And applejack is one of those unsung spirits that I always talk about and I love because it's a truly American spirit. You know, uh -huh. from New Jersey initially, um, apple brandy, and it's really it makes a great mixer. But it's great in this. So I put a little bit of applejack in each, a little bit of rum in each. And then a little bit of cider in each. That's great. So each drink you're sort of customizing. If you like to, maybe oh, someone likes great. more of this or less of this. That's correct. Perfect. And I think the, the blend of the sweetness of the rum and that bracing apple flavor, which is very dry on, on the Applejack, mm -hmm. is a nice combination. Mm -hmm. And then here I've had, oh, let me get this off here, sure. a batch of the cider that was already done. Mm -hmm. Nice. It came prepared. Came prepared. One of the things I really love about how you plan out this stuff, you know, and this is a perfect example, is that you create less work for the host, right? That's so correct. we have this amazing drink that is good for anybody. And then if you want to add stuff to it, you can. There you Thank go. you. Would you guys Beautiful. like some nutmeg on there? Oh, oh yes. yes. You want Would to hit me up with some nutmeg? I got you, girl. Okay. So just you. shave it. Just shave it on top. Is it a zest? Yeah, it's a zester, yeah. but you're kind of shaving nice. it. Is that enough? Yeah, but it, it's up to personal taste. Okay. There you go. First time zesting nutmeg. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to the Cheers season, to the friend. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, and it's still warm. Oh, my gosh. This is oh, so good. good. Thank you very much.
Oh, okay. Reminds me of a ski lodge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> feed, feed me this. Anytime. Tell us real quick where people can find your books. Okay, you can buy it. Uh, well, of course, on Amazon or online. I like to say in book larder here in Seattle. Oh, um, mm. Island Books on Mercer Island. So, like my, in my local bookstore, as I always like to promote those two. Wonderful, but Nick. you can get Thank it just about so anywhere. Much. Thank you very much. This has been fabulous. We posted more info on this drink recipe and your books up on our website, fox13seattle.com/studio13live. And.